From KTVO Kirksville, Ottumwa, this is Good Morning Heartland, because accuracy matters. So we are in our cooking segment live in Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One, and this morning we have Ashley McCarty, who is a local beef produ producer. Sorry. Good to be with you this morning. Yes, thank you for coming in. Yes. Can you tell us what we're making today? Today we are going to try some beef breakfast burritos. Okay. to prove beef is for dinner, but it all can also be for breakfast. And okay. so to start with, we have this wonderful convection oven that we will start grilling a 95% lean okay. ground would beef. You like me to if put you this would in? put that in, okay. that would be wonderful. Whoop, spatula, mm -hmm. thank you. Not a problem. And this will make a wonderful aroma as we add both red bell peppers and onions. Okay. You've got the heavy lifting for this first part. I should give that job to Chris. <laughs> That'll work out a bit. Who's salivating <laughs> over here. Chris is ready for beef this morning. Already. And that was okay. a small onion and a medium bell pepper, and we okay. will top it off with two tables, two teaspoons of ancho chili powder. Ancho chili powder. Mm -hmm. And I think a key ingredient is half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Okay. Which really adds some flavor and seasoning. Great. Okay, and how long is this going to cook? This is going to cook for eight to ten minutes okay. until the beef is no longer pink. Okay. And um, starts adding some wonderful flavors. There's uh, this is lean ground beef. There are over 29 cuts that are classified as lean by the federal government, USDA. This is just one of the great ways to kick off a day. Uh, it's a great way to get a power-packed breakfast yes, it that is. accompanies the carbohydrates and the cereals and the fruits and vegetables that we usually all eat. So, Absolutely. Um, it already smells good. It does. It's starting to I'm smell excited. wonderful. I've never had a breakfast burrito. I was telling Ashley really? earlier. Yes. Oh, they're dreamy. Well, I know oh, you're excited. Eat back home. There you go. <laughs> okay, so again, we are just browning the meat. You yes. said it'd take about eight to ten minutes. Yes. Okay, and then once this is browned, what do we do? We will then remove it from the heat. We are going to beat the eggs. Chris, if you wouldn't mind to go ahead and start. Um, my family and I raised, as Megan Chris mentioned, I don't think I've ever how you beat the eggs. <laughs> Grab it forcefully. No, like pull the fork good. like you mean it. Yes. Like, oh, okay. So there you go. go. There. Mix there we go. Make a mess here. You are doing time. a great job. <laughs> and this morning we are eating both beef and <laughs> eggs from our farm. Our family works very hard to take care of our animals. We put a lot of care into it. And just as much as Chris is using They're still laughing at me over here. <laughs> Still laughing at me. And uh, <laughs> so we're pretty proud to feed this to our family and you guys this morning. Great. And everybody else out there. I may need to lend Chris a hand. No. <laughs> no. Well, this is embarrassing already. <laughs> You're doing a good job, Chris. <laughs> you are. Now, how many eggs was that? I missed that, that when was I was walking. That was four eggs. Them. Yes, yes. It sorry. Used to be four eggs. That too. was four eggs, and we're going to okay. add then these two tablespoons of water into the egg, okay. and that um, tablespoon of cilantro will also top off the seasoning. Grab a bowl, quick. Pardon me. Now that the beef is browning, okay. we are going to go ahead and take it off heat. Okay. Set it to the side. Part good job, Chris. Now it's looking good. Well now, do you want this on low heat while it sits, or are you just yes. putting it to the side? we're going to keep it warm, so okay. we will put it on low heat. Okay. Right there. And okay. we will then prepare for Chris's eggs. Here in the, the same skillet? skillet or same a... skillet. Okay. Have all those great seasonings okay. that we had before. Chris, if you wouldn't mind okay. to dump those in, we're going to scramble the eggs. They will eventually be mixed back in with the beef. Okay. Right. Now, how much does this prepare? You said four eggs. If this I have a bigger is, family, can I yes, six, it would eight be, eggs? Yes, you certainly could, okay. and more ground beef. We use 12 ounces of lean ground beef. You could certainly add more pretty easily. This is a serving for four. Okay. So four healthy size beef burritos for breakfast. Okay. Um, very how long easy do you think double. eggs make? For those of us who have never made scrambled eggs, maybe Chris hasn't. <laughs> Mine are usually always just made for me. Oh, okay. It's going to take three to four minutes to go okay. ahead and get these scrambled. We're then going to be mixing the beef back into the egg mixture before we wrap up okay. uh, this morning. So. All right, so once the eggs are made, we combine it with the meat, mm -hmm. and then we mix it up, and then what? And then add we're to the going burrito? to add it to the burrito. Okay, we're going great. to top with a, a garnish and... Um, so this is just any tortilla? This soft. is any tortilla. Those are some wonderful ones that you can warm. Okay, great. And then we're going to garnish in there. We're going to have to 
wait a little bit for this to go ahead and okay. solidify. So once we figure out, or we're not figure out, wait until mm -hmm. the eggs are done, we will add it to our tortilla and we'll show you that after our break. Cap, what we've just did in the cooking in the kitchen. So we made a beef breakfast burrito. Okay, great. With lean beef, eggs, pepper and onion. Chris is going to go ahead and add our final ingredient, which is cheese, Mexican cheese. We'll mix in a third of a cup, sprinkle with a little salt, and okay. we are ready to dine. Awesome. So if you guys will grab your plate. Okay. We'll serve up some deliciousness to get our day started it right. It smells delicious. We'll be sharp and focused the rest of the day. Thank you. Beef powering. Thank you. Our now, is there a special way to fold this or roll this, there, or it, how you do you do You can be as it? artistic as you want to be. So I can fold it in half, or? You certainly can. <laughs> you can roll in, okay. and then up like this. Perfect. It'll almost look like something that you could get traveling, then... And then cut it? Cut it, okay. to show that meaty goodness inside there. Great. Now, let's say I don't like the peppers. Can I add something else? Can we add Most certainly. This is a recipe. Or exactly. Like I that? think you could um, create, make this your own, very much so. It's, it's flexible and could. What you like? Yes. Okay. Could now, I see salsa flexible. over there. What do we do? We can certainly serve with salsa. If you'd like, it can be served with salsa. There's also a sauce, which is um, sour cream, cilantro, and lime juice would make a nice finishing touch to this as well. Okay. So, if you guys want Let's to dig in. in. Yes, I want to try yes. it. Thumbs up, all the way around. <laughs> Good.